Hello Masanawana and everyone that's watching, welcome to the 2021-22 season preview brought to you by Masanawana fan vlog. Raps, how are you? I'm good, thanks and you? I'm good man, eh, we missed you guys, hope you missed us as much as we missed you and yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, before we delve into it, uh, are you happy with last season? Uh, are you happy with just one trophy? Are you happy with how the team played? Uh, I'm happy with the trophy that we have won and also under the, the circumstances that we had uh, uh, last season losing two players so I, 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 like it was tough for us so I, I wouldn't complain much with what we have won and the season that uh, how the season went for mm -hmm. uh, do you do you believe that we could have done better look I, I think we could have done better but I don't think there's any other excuse besides losing two players and that had a, a, a huge impact on our players and, and the team as a whole. So I, I think I'm, I'm satisfied with what we have won. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm also satisfied. I'm, I'm so so. I mean, it's, it was the coach's first season with the club. We won the league and I would have loved us uh, to have done better in the Champions League. Uh, because of how we actually started the Champions League but let's hope that uh, this season we will win uh, a few more trophies and do well in the Champions League eh? yeah no, I'm happy with how uh, the season went and also the new coaches and how they, they, they made changes and this the, the, everyone wanted this new technical team to fail they've wanted this new technical team to fail but they have done very well so I'm, I'm really impressed with what they have what they have done and changes that they have done too okay no let's get right into the season preview then ah uh, uh, the season is starting in a few days excited and looking forward to it you know hopefully it will be better than last season eh? yeah i know it's been a while since we've we've, uh, uh, we've been shooting some uh, content and i'm excited that uh, the league is going to start and i'm looking forward to the to the league and all other domestic cup competitions yeah yeah we made we made uh, a few signings. We made quite a lot of signings, as, as per usual when it comes to Mamelodi Sundowns, and we we won't go into all of them. But I just want to find out from you, uh, from the signings that we've made, how many or who do you think uh, will crack the, the the starting line lineup? Is there someone that you think will definitely get into uh, the, the the starting lineup? Look, I think for now it is going to be tough because of uh, the, the 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 previous team won uh, uh, the league so it's it, it going, it going to be tough for the players who just joined the team to crack into the into the lineup just like that so what i'm uh, excited about is that the players that we have signed we have sent them early and they had time to to to, to gel with the team and adjust to the uh, the new environment of mamelodi sundowns true true now i'm also happy about that you know but of all the players that we've signed who who are you most excited about I think I'm excited about Neo Miami, but I'm mostly I'm looking forward to see uh, uh, Tabiso Kutumela. Uh, Tabiso Kutumela is one of a player who, who has played for NFD and later played for one of the biggest teams in the country, which is Orlando Pirates. And he didn't do well. He went again to a, a, a lower team, which is uh, Maris Beck. Then he's back again into a, a big team, which is Mamelu Sander. So I think we have signed a more matured Tabiso Kutumela. And well experienced types of so i'm looking forward to seeing him competing with the likes of shalile and erasmus and other other front players yeah yeah and i'm also excited uh, about neo i mean if you watch the, the the preview of our match against celtics I'm, i think it was late in the late in the season and we we, we spoke highly of him you know and uh, we, i'm happy to see him uh, 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 with us but uh, with the guys that he's competing with, it will be very. Really, it won't be easy for him. He's a quality player. He'll get game time, but it won't be easy for him to to break into uh, uh, the starting eleven. And then 
there's a Safranco as well, the, 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 the guy you got from Europe. But my worry with the signings that we've made, there's a position that I don't think we've uh, gone and not necessarily fixed, but got someone to, to help us there. Uh, uh, six, more six, uh, someone to push River, you know. River, I think for me, played, a, played way too many games last season. Uh, there were times where I felt he could have been given a rest, but because there wasn't anyone uh, 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 to, to, to replace him, uh, I think Imubulayile to a certain extent towards the end of the season. Do you now think Mido will get more game time this season as six, or do you think Andile, who by the way looks mean, uh, he, he, I loved what, uh, what I saw on our social media in terms of uh, his fitness. He really looks, uh, he really looks good to kick on this season, Andile. Look, uh, 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 we have signed uh, uh, quality players and uh, uh, there's competition in every position but the the, the position the position that you have mentioned which is a six there's not much competition competition and like you, you are saying and he's in a good shape he's in a, a, a right shape and I, i'm looking forward to see whether and will compete with rivaldo or and will still play at uh, 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 position eight. eight but you know and is a clever player like he has played abroad and he uses his experience and with the left backs that we said we signed two left backs but the thing is they're competing if, if there's one position most and downs that doesn't worry me at all is the left side i mean i'm happy with lyle i'm happy with 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 uh, uh Mapo, Mapo. so whoever plays there i'm happy but us getting those two guys how, how do you feel about that look i think the signing of divine lungu happened I think it should have happened two seasons back when Supersport was still delaying to give us Moody. But I think if it happened two seasons back, it would have made better sense compared to now. And I look at uh, his stats, like out of 40 goals that uh, Golden Arrows has scored in the league, he's only had a single goal contribution, which is an assist. And when you look at guys like Moody and like hey, this is a guys who, uh, yeah, yeah, like he had above 10 uh, goal contributions so like it's going to be a tough competition for him but at least he, he has that uh, uh, continental experience in terms of being one of the left backs for 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 for, for zimbabwe as for uh, uh, Ngubin, he's a young boy grew up uh, uh, in pretoria knows the culture of mamil sandals and also the identity so i don't think he will struggle that much in terms of adjusting to coming back to, to, to Pretoria and also he's a young boy he has the potential to become a better player and I think under the coaches his game under the coaches such as Mangoba, Steve and Rulad his game will will, will improve mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy man I'm not sure if we're done signing maybe chances are by the time uh, this uh, airs we might have made a, a few more signings yes, but, but yeah Let's hear the views of Masandawana. We spoke to a few Masandawanas uh, about this and uh, the, the transfers that we've made. And yeah, let's hear what they have to say. I don't know. Like, Rekabon, I think a lot of the thing, a lot of the time for me personally, when it comes to players coming into the team, I'd rather see them on the pitch perform than to come in saying, ah, we signed another person. How many guys do we have in our team? And where's this person going to play? Rather they put their hand up, play, and then let their performance speak for them. I look at the signings that we've made, and I look at the squad that we already had, and I don't see a change in quality. I don't see an upgrade. I see us signing what we already had, and others even a bit lower in terms of standard. So I am not happy. I think of all our signings, um, there's only two players that I see fighting or having some sort of a chance in the starting lineup, and that would be Grand Kekana and then Letabiso Kutumela, right? I'm very excited to see Neoma Emma play, but I don't see it, if, if I'm being practical. So, um, am I happy with the signings? No, I don't feel like it does anything to improve the quality that we already had. It's just sort of like a maintenance instead of an upgrade. Sundowns is a big team, so... All, all the players need to fight for their positions. No matter if the squad is 50, it all depends because we have three coaches. It, I think they will, work, they will work best with the players. So it means one position, we have three players, four players, it's fine. It's stiff competition so that you pull up your socks each and every game. 
you can't perform one game and rest. If you rest the other game, the other player is going to catch up with you and take your position. I'm looking forward to Safranco. I don't know the name, but Safranco. That's the one player top of the list. I want to see the combination with Peter Shalouli at the front. And then this youngster, Neo Maema, I want to see. And also this, this boy, Mamelodi boy, Fiso. If they give him a chance, I just want to see if he really is a humble guy who can forget about the hype I'm coming from Mamelodi. Maybe he'll prove the critics wrong because we've got two boys from Mamelodi who failed. So let's hope he'll play longer and reach retirement at Mamelodi Sundown. If only he can discipline himself. I think that way we will see. We'll see. Only those three players. The others will just wait and see. In certain positions, we added quality. In certain positions, I'm not sure of. There are certain players we still need to see on the field of play. I cannot talk about without them, without us seeing them play. So it will be unfair for me to judge them. Think about Hali because sometimes it's a different league. Actually, teams about Tango Zone. My only problem with the signings currently is that it's age. I don't see a signing that we've done of someone that's 23 or younger. So a lot of the guys are either 25 and up. No, so far I'm satisfied. Just that I'm satisfied just with that we need to release certain players that are dead wood in the team. Can I start a garrison? I found so. But George, Malule, guy, guy, they must go. Because I don't see George play, to be honest. Okay, already last season, we started introducing youngsters. I think that culture must continue. Because you cannot depend on senior players. You cannot depend on senior players as they're getting old. Sedika Pinga, for one, is an exciting player. He was not given more chance. Because I think there's one game he fumbled, and he was never in the team list for about two, three games. He also gift Mutupa. Because I saw a glimpse of him that Kimutulura uh, Akarefa something up front. Uh, maybe coming in as an impact player in the front. Maybe if Shalule is tired, you can see to avoid injuries and stuff. Maybe if Safrango starts, then we see that ne, he did well. Let's put Gift Mutupa in. The players I'd like to see cementing, I think mostly I look forward to Gapinga cementing his place in the, in the team, right? Because with the glimpses that we've seen of him, we see his quality. We see that he, he he's a very good player in terms of providing for the strikers. We see how he plays. Oh, the boy is smart on the ball. I like how he plays. So I, I want to see him lamenting himself more and sort of solidifying his position in the starting lineup. Kemit Erasmus, I'm hopeful, um, but he's injury prone, so we never really know where we stand with him. Mangaman, I don't see it. I, I, I don't know. I don't see it. He, I think he's way too comfortable in the shadows. I would like to see him like fighting for it. Uh, one thing that also, one player that also excited me was towards the end of the season, we could see Jorge Mutupa was regaining fitness. And we could see that Mutupa was starting to gel in with the team. So uh, that's also something I'm excited for. I just don't know if it's going to happen now with Kutumela coming into the team. But what I would have loved to see a whole 90-minute game with, 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 with playing double striker. It's actually Lilele Mutupa, I feel like. Fire. We did a game like that, didn't we? And it was fire. So yes, I would love to see more of that. Abs, uh, second season for the coaches, uh, the, uh, the joint head coaches. Uh, what 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 do you want what are your expectations what do you want to see different this season look i will start with the off the field expectations like i want our technical team to handle off the field situations much better in terms of answering the questions from the journalists we we we, we know what happened last season uh, when do we when my was asked about why Sperlum Kulis is not playing and also the statement that Gulan Mukwena made before we played Allah. So I want them to manage the, 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 the off the field expectations and also how they handle the, 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 the media. So yeah, I, I'll start with the uh, off the field. Then on the field, right, I'm, I'm expecting I'm expecting a Sandals that is going to be more ruthless, a Sandals that is going to show a, 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 a sense of continuing in terms of continuing from the, the, the previous season into the into the next the, the, the next season and keeping the same form mm -hmm. you know uh, 
the one thing that I'd like to see more is more rotation to keep the players fresh, you know. Because you look at, uh, there's a game that I'm still upset, uh, uh, that still upsets me when I look back at last season. The game that we played against Amazulu. We had played a lot of games, away game against Amazulu. We had played a lot of games in a very short space of time, you know. And I would have loved to have seen more rotation going into that game because I can't remember who, who, who we played against Amazulu and we were flat, flat, you know. But with rotation comes a lot of things. One, the team won't be as fluid as uh, it, it, it normally is when you have your regulars. Another thing is, uh, formations I feel like for a team like Sundowns 90% of the time when we play we play against teams this is a, a local we play against teams that psychologically we've already beaten them you know sometimes we, we need to be more ruthless ruthless starting with uh, the, the lineup go as offensive as you possibly can you know I'm still mad that, at the fact that when we played early in the second leg here at home I mean, we had considered two away. Yes, you need to be cautious, you need to box smart, but we needed to be offensive. I don't know how many times when we shot uh, uh, the pre preview to the yellow corner, I would say, I want us to play 4 2 2 2, you know, have more offensive players uh, uh, in the field. Eh? Look, uh, uh, we have played 4 2 2 2 against uh, Chipper United at the Loftus, and we suffocated. A, a, a cheaper United, they couldn't build up from the back, they mm -hmm. couldn't make even near five passes. Mm -hmm. and, and that shows, like, when you have a lot of offensive players up front, you are likely to press them and force them to make mistakes. So mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. playing with Dre in the middle, who, who, who don't press as much as when we are, we are playing uh, with a uh, 4 4 2 2, two. And, and, and I think, like, dif we should have different games and different approaches for, yes. for, 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 for those games. You can't approach a game like Alakhli, use the same approach a yeah, game Alakhli, and use the approach yeah, a team that is fighting relegation at, at uh, South Africa. So Saying we should utilize more of 4 2, two, two ne? When you play 4 2, two it means now it affects who, who, who play as uh, our two, uh, double pivot. Who would you use if we playing ka, ka two moha. Hmm. I would I would go for River and 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 Andile. And this means we <laughs> You have to sacrifice le 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 this pele. This pele, you know. But again it's not like uh, we, we we're going to play this formation every match. You know? I think double pivot yeah, yeah, River and 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 Andile suits us more than uh, 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 any other two that would play more way. Uh, against Chipper United, the example that I've made, correct. Against Chipper United, uh, United we had Andile and we had Spellen, and we are talking about offensive players. So I, I like, and also the team when they come to play Mamlu Sanders, especially on Pretoria, they give us too much respect and we should use that into our advantage let's hear what uh, masanda wanna have to say it's about on the record on the vlog anyway i didn't i wasn't very really happy about the structure but in the long run with what we've seen and the information i've been getting it seems like it's something that it's a working system and now you see other teams as well are adopting the same system Pirates has three coaches, Chiefs has three coaches. So I think in essence, the coaching structure, obviously it will have its hurdles here and there, but I guess it's a working system. They haven't given us a reason to doubt um, their work because the tr trophy really lifty. So now the only thing is we need to lift more trophies, one for each coach, then I'll be happy with that. Let's look at this past season that we came from, right? And let's look at, I think it was the first seven, eight games of that season. That is what I want to see happening this coming season. With that front three, Yashalu Lile, Zwani, Irasmas. I don't know with Irasmas being injury prone, but that is what I want to see. And the other thing that I liked about our play 
this past season is the fact that we're not going safe when we're playing away. I really love that. And I think that's one thing that the coaches have clear is that we, even when we're playing away, play the Sundowns way. Don't, don't, I, I certainly team up pack up us. It was a change of scenario for them because they used to sit back because Pizzo was there giving instruction. They were helping out. Now, Mangoba is in charge. Roland is there. Steve is there. So, they need to agree somewhere and disagree somewhere. But this season, there's no need to rest. Because last season, you understand, the most important trophy was the league. They defended the league. So it means now, they need to defend the league and reclaim the NetBank Cup. You understand? So if the Telecom is coming back, let them reclaim it because we are the last one to win it. So they need to reclaim those trophies. You understand? Because I understand this cut and razor trophy is fine. I don't, I don't want to talk much about it. But what I know, the other three trophies... They need to be there consistently. So it means this season there's no experimenting. They know the core of their squad. With the new additions, they know what, where, where to fix, where not to not fix. But you won't fix what, what is not broken. So right now they just need to add there. Add, add some spice there so that we move on. But they need to know the first 10 games is the best for them. Like last season, first 10 games were the best. I knew then, then, first 10 games that we won the league. So now, first 10 games I know. If they perform well, maybe one draw in the first 10 games, then the league is ours. Yeah, let's talk about uh, the season opener. Let's talk about the prison, the preseason trophy, the MTN 8. Uh, we're playing Chiefs. Uh, the last time we played Chiefs in this tournament was when Baxter uh, came back, uh, you know, in his first stint with them, and we battered them 4 1 uh, right here at Loftus. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the other thing is that after that they went on to win the league you know do you do you, is the MTN 8 important to you do you want us to win the MTN 8 it has proven that okay it is an important trophy but I don't think for us is that important because of we can still be knocked out out of the MTN 8 but still manage to win other trophies but we shouldn't uh, disrespect uh, this uh, cup competition and, and I don't think when we exit this competition we are doing it intentional I don't I don't think that it is purposely uh, uh, what we are doing but I don't think we have that lag in terms of winning the MT8 yeah, and the thing is for me this is one cup uh, that is a quick a quick a chance to make a quick buck for the players you know it's short and it, I think it's the highest paying uh, uh, what you call this uh, knockout competition in the, in the continent so it's a chance for them to make a quick buck you know I would, I would honestly love us let me be honest I I don't care much about it but I would love us to win it but even if we don't win it I don't want us to lose to this team yeah. and we can get knocked out in the semis it's fine I don't want us to lose uh, 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 to 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 case achieves, you know. Let's hear the views of Masandawana. We spoke to a few Masandawanas. Yeah, let's hear what they have to say. MTN should be the easiest cup that we should win because that's another form game so we win. Game T N. Uh, MT8 in general, no. First fixture, first fixture, definitely. So I couldn't care less if we win the MTN8 or not. I just want us to beat Chiefs convincingly. Those ones must just catch hands. It's not necessarily a. Pre uh, a a trophy that we should really fight for because the preseason cup doesn't really count however the team that we are playing first needs to catch hands they need to catch serious hands they need to catch hands there's no way we need we're gonna start a season really stay against chiefs mtn8 guys you know mtn8 guys man that cup has eluded us since it was bp to man there's no need to, to panic about that truth. Can we put all our signings, this guy, those new guys? Can they play this game against Chiefs? The new guys, all, all the new guys, and then we'll play like we're in Tour Cup. It's not a serious game for us. It's a practice maybe We are not desperate for trophies. Eh? We've got a bunch for the past 10 seasons. So in the last four seasons, the four seasons that we won the league, uh, last season was the one where we won it by the highest points tally. It was 67 and uh, the season before that it was 59 and then the season before that it was also 59 and the first one first of the four it was 60 points I've, we, we, we've had the privilege of 
getting the the the, the fixture the season the whole season and uh, and i've looked at the six game blocks because that's how we do it at sundowns you know and i think okay okay let me ask you uh, first how many points do you do you think wins us the league hmm. i think this season is going to be different i think ab- anything above 65 to 70 winners the league <laughs> funny enough uh, working on my game blocks six i got 60 points for this season you know and i think it will be a bit tough because uh, 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 because of I, I think pirates will push us this season chiefs have made good signings and they've got a smart coach so i think competition will be a a, a, a bit tough this season yeah no i think the the the, the, the team that I, are expected to give us a challenge they have strengthened their squad they have went uh, for for experienced players and good players so it is a sign that uh, uh, this uh, upcoming season it go, it is going to be tough and the the fans of the uh, of the opposition teams they want their teams to win the league like they don't want Santos to win the league five times in a row so i, I think uh, 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 the, 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 the top teams should show hunger and challenge Mamelu Sundowns as the, the, the football fans regardless of the team that you, you support you want the league to be decided at least in the last two games of the, the of the season or the last game of the season like what happened in the 2019 and 2020 season where the league was decided in the last 20 minutes of the league mm-hmm. true true I mean uh, a, a good challenge from Chiefs and Pirates makes for an entertaining yeah. uh, league you know? Chiefs have strengthened, but they are still far. They they still they they need I think two more seasons to catch us. But the thing is not we're not stagnant. We're also signing and and, and improving our team. So we've uh, said our two cents worth regarding the expectations star league. Let's hear what uh, Masanda Wana have to say about the, their expectations for the forthcoming season when it comes to the bread and butter of the DSTV Premier Soccer League. Four in a row. Yeah. That's the standard. So I think the standard in I don't think we need to drop. But we need to the kings of South African football, especially when coming to the league, because when you win the league, you are recognized worldwide. So let's set the trend. Let's go for five. And then for, for the others, we'll talk about it. But let's go for five. But I think five will be in the back. That's... That's me. In terms of league, it's an obvious thing we have to win it. There's no way. Like, league, it's like, it's like empty and eight for Pirates. It's a must-have. I think even if we can get to your now 73 points, just for the sake of breaking another record, like, just to add another teaspoon of pain to the teams that don't think we're a big team. Hori, we're smashing records. Zelo, Nantili, Fulak. So rather we, in essence, Mamelodi Sundowns is at competition with themselves. So every record we're trying to break is a record we've already made. I mean, we win the league this coming season. It will be the 12th time record. I think the, the points tally must be 80, meaning that we win 25, we draw five, then we are in. So that is a, it's a record that nobody will break, meaning that the coming seasons, our target is after 80. So for now, 80 points will do. So there's no need to rest. Gabona, the team, they are reinforcing squads. But Sundowns has already planned ahead for 2029, 20, 2030. I give only another problem again lifting that. Because of once the Sundowns always cream more, always on top. You can even see Advertia Krimora is always on top. That's symbol of Sundowns. Yeah, so let's jump into uh, the real cup competition of the league. The only one, the FA Cup of South African football, the Netbank Cup. Uh, last season, we got knocked out by uh, TTM. TTM. I think they went on to win it, ne? Yeah. So yeah, it's, 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 
uh, annoying it is that we got knocked out at least we got knocked out by the champions uh, the season before that we did very well it was one of the cups that we we, we, we won you know uh, let's talk about the importance of this cup why is it important to 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 win the netbank cup because i think another important thing that we need to take into consideration is that it's we know we now only have two cup competitions uh, 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 in south africa now uh, how important is, is it to win the netbank cup look i, I think we know that a uh, netbank cup gives you the opportunity to play continental football to play kef confederations cup and we uh, we know that after Sanders won the CAF Champions League, the uh, South African teams started taking this continental football very seriously because of they, 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 they want to get to the uh, level of competing amongst the best teams in Africa, like how Kaiser Chiefs went to the CAF Champions League a, a final. So I think this, this will invite or will a, 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 like... A, I don't know the right way that I can use, but this will push other teams to to, to, to take this competition competition seriously. And uh, and this is a competition that we are we are like you have like in terms yes, of winning, winning it because it. of it starts in the middle of the season where Sanders are on form, and we know Sanders when they are on form, they are likely to win any other trophy. So I think that is the difference between NetBank and MTN8 because at MTN8 we start the, the season and NetBank happens in the middle of the season where Sanders it, it is on form. So that, that is why uh, uh, we, we, we have the luck in terms of winning it or going to the uh, 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 semi-finals. Yeah, uh, the thing is for me it has its pros and cons because one, yes, like you're saying it comes in the middle of the season where we, we've found our form, you know, uh, there's fluidity in the team and all that. But the, 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 the con is that it comes in the middle of the season where we're juggling a lot of balls at the same time, you know, and uh, you have injuries, you have a lot of things, you have suspensions, then you, you, you want to rest players, you know, so... This is where rotation comes in hand and you know, in the Denver camp, you are likely to play one of the, 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 the teams that comes from a lower division. So it gives you at least an advantage to, 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 to rest certain players or to, to, to rotate the squad in terms of giving other players a chance to play. Mm, true, true. How do you think we will, we will uh, uh, like you said, this is the one competition that we seem to be good at or maybe even have a bit of luck in. But this coming season, how do you think we will do in the NetBank Cup? With, with the signings that we have made, I think we can go through into the finals. I think we'll go through into the finals. Can we win it? Definitely. Will De we win definitely. it? Definitely. Will we win it? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, Raps. Eh? Let's hear what uh, the rest of the fan base have to say about uh, the NetBank Cup ne for next season. To be the NetBank Cup, I think it's time we win it three times in a row so that they can make a new trophy. NetBank Cup, from last 32, it means you play many games plus the league games. So it means if you conquer NetBank Cup, you are the best. So let's sometimes win the league, win the NetBank, the runner up for NetBank and play in the Convention Cup. Uh, specifically with the NetBank Cup, I think we, we we have the capability to win the NetBank Cup. So I would love us to, to then take the NetBank Cup. Uh, but I think with last season, the coaches were being a bit cautious because it was their first season and they had a lot to prove given that we came back from, from a treble winning season. So I don't blame them for then not having won the NetBank Cup. But I think uh, they've t they, sh they have to take the training shoes off now. Uh, we know they're capable. We know the the, the, the the quality of the squad that we have. So I'm definitely expecting NetBank Cup. MTA in the that kind of that. Perhaps let's move on to the big boys club now. The Champions League, Asimang Lima. Uh, Baba and Babo in the last season, even though they got to the final, I mean, if you ask them how they got there, they won't be able to tell you, you know, because it will, for, it will remain the biggest mystery in African football how that team got that far in the tournament, you know. And yeah, uh, last season, Rapelang, we started so well in the Champions League. 
I was so excited. I, I genuinely thought we were going to win it for, 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 for the second time, you know. Uh, let's not too much into it, but a bit. What do you think went wrong last season? Hmm. Look, you, you, uh, during the off season, you asked me what did we do wrong or what what led us not in terms of beating Allah. And I said, look, when the, 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 the coaches were asked uh, uh, or interviewed, Gulen Mukwena made a, a very big statement by saying, uh, I, I don't think Alakhli, this Alakhli or this Pitu Misiman Alakhli doesn't want to face Mamluri Sandals. And when you play those mind games with the master of mind games, <laughs> you have to, 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 you have to beat him or, or, <laughs> unless he will embarrass you. So I think the, the, such this statement put the team under pressure. Like they, they went for Pito's blood, they wanted Pito's blood and they should have used that term to prepare in terms of uh, what are we going to do? How can we beat Allah? That's what we, we expected the, the, the coaches to focus on. Leave those things of making big st statements because of the ball, the, 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 the football match it is won on the ground, not on the, 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 the press uh, conference. Now I'm going to sound as if I'm defending the team, but I think it was believe. I think going to the second leg, I was watching it with the guys with uh, uh, Toto and Neo. I can't remember which one of them said. We seem to have more belief in the team winning than the players were on the field, and it showed on the day. You know, I don't. I think the guys. I think we did well away, and then when we came home, because of how they played away, and didn't get anything, even an away goal. I think that in a way given up. I don't think they had faith for Batla win a game here, you know. So I think I think we lacked we lacked uh, 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 that 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 word uh Kanakiman kept saying yeah Watford Troidini there's a word that he used up and when he uh, spoke Kaunas. about <laughs> Arsenal he said they lacked Kaunas. So I think the players lacked that, you know. But and uh, one thing I want to say that the change of venue killed us. We have won too many games at Loftus first field. We have beaten that team that we've played uh, 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 Yako Sudan. Yeah, Al Hilal. Al Hilal. We, 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 we give them 2 0 home. We've beaten Mazembe uh, home 1 0. Likely we've, we've lost to uh, CR below that because we've we already qualified. Uh, but yeah. I think. We should have sticked to playing our home Champions League games all of us first felt. Mm -hmm. and we we this is no secret. This is uh, everyone knows this. We played differently under Coach Peter when we played in the Champions League, especially away. Coach Peter away, he he kept it safe. He wasn't he didn't park the bus, but he kept it safe. You know. Uh, with the new coaches, Coach Wilani and Coach Mangwawa, uh, they were a bit open, you know. Which one works? Which one works? Because if you say Coach Peters works, uh, I'm going to say to you, but we only reached one final. Uh, uh, so which one works? How do we match the two and make sure it takes us further in the Champions League? What, what do we do next season? Look, I think what we should do, Pure, uh, uh, Tata Gore, Coach Pito, like one, if we were playing away game, wanted a safe result and try to kill the game when we go to, to Pretoria. But this new uh, technical team, they want to get good results despite we are playing home or away. Like mm. they want mm. to, to, to get a, a W. It's either home away and like I, I've said when we were shooting the yellow corner uh, 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 previews like the, the, the North African teams and 
West African teams not having fans at the stadiums mm. gives us at, an, an, an advantage in terms of a, a, a challenging a, 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 the, 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 the game because of we know like uh, how crucial do uh, the fans play uh, that role in, in the Champions League. So I think it gave us advantage in terms of challenging uh, for, for, for a Champions League. So now, like, let's not give these teams respect. Like, Rebon, when we played TP Mazembe, like, we challenged them, then we won the game. And likely we won, we, 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 we won, we, we scored the winner when we were winding down. So we should be brave enough in terms of having hunger to win the games away. I think uh, there were lessons learned, yeah. definitely. I mean, we've got an inc incredible uh, a technical team. We have by far, by the longest mile, by a country mile, the best technical team in South Africa. And I will safely say we have the top three in the continent in terms of the technical team. I'm sure they've looked at everything. They've analyzed everything in the off-season and they saw the mistakes that were made and I believe we will do well uh, in, in, in the Champions League uh, next season. And it, it, I would really love us to go further, you know. For me, I don't want the semi-final. I want to get to the final of the Champions League, you know. I want to win the Champions League. I will say this, we have the squad to play in the Champions League. Yes, Alakli, they have the best squad in the Champions League. But I don't think anyone can stand in front of me and say that Sundowns doesn't have the top, the top four squads, squad in, in, in the continent. You know, there's Alakli, there's us, and then there's Bo, Experience, and, and everyone. You know? So with the squad and technical team that we have, we should push uh, uh, further. We have the experience, man. I mean, our players are experienced, man. We can't use experience. As, 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 an, as an excuse but with uh, this said let's hear what uh, Masanda wanna have to say about uh, next season's Champions League for me a successful season is winning the CAF Champions League I feel like my we tried would be losing at a final Champions League it's one of it's one of the challenges that I'm happy about because of we've been there for most years at Sundowns, and I'm happy about the process of our team. Unfortunately, uh, we were beaten by a strong team last year, and then uh, former coach. I personally feel we should be getting a lot further than quarterfinals. I think if we get like Hofika quarterfinal, Karo Pastagama Dota score, rather let's. I would much, I'll be a lot happier if we reach a semi-final or get to a final and lose it at the final. Because we know how it feels to win it. So we must always strive towards that. With the previous season at Champions League, I personally thought we, we would have breezed through and won it. It's just unfortunate that we fumbled Kakura final. But we can't be fumbling on the same thing every year. It can't be quarter final. So my expectations for us is either semi-final or final. And I think hello, ho, we like the tactics start with the pre and press conferences. It's not necessary. Let's just do what we need to do on the pitch. Let the result speak for itself. Marana, semi-final or final, Rafik. Quarter final is a failure. We've been rejiga jiga quarter final, semi-final. Agitori, is it stage fright or what? Agit, we need to have the second down the bench. Ya kef. So that now, if we're going to be counted amongst well, Akhli, Zamalek, TP, Mazembe, we'll be amongst the best in Africa. So it means consistently we need to be in the Club World Cup. So it means that now we need to set the trend to be the best. If you are the best in South Africa, let's be the best in Africa. You understand? So it means if you win the league in the CAF, you are there amongst the best. As you can see in Cairo, what they are doing. They win the league, they win CAF. They go to Top World Cup, they get that position. So that's what we need to do. So that we, we represent South Africa and Southern Africa as a whole. Yeah, perhaps we've discussed everything. We've spoken about uh, the acquisitions that we've made. We've spoken about the MTN8, the NetBank Cup, the league, and the one that we won the most, fish. the big fish, the Champions League. 
Yeah, let's uh, get into the, the, the final lap, the season uh, predictions. Before we get into that, I want to ask you a question. What would be a bad season for you? What would be a good season for you? What would be a great season for you? Start with bad. A bad season will... I will define a bad season for us by not winning a single a cup at all. That will be a bad season for us because we know Sandals can't go a season without lifting a trophy. A good season will be okay winning the, 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 the league uh, alone like last season. Then the great season will be winning the CAF Champions League or winning the treble. That will okay. be a great season for, for, for but me. But you know at, by a treble you mean we have to win the Champions League because this this plastic cup, <laughs> this preseason trophy doesn't count when we talk about treble. It will be a double if it's a, it's the league and 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 the the the, the net band cup. Ne? Yeah. yeah. For me, a bad season will be us winning one trophy or not winning a trophy at all. You know, which would be scandalous. And a good season would be the league and uh, uh, the, um, the 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 net band cup. You know. A great season for me has us going to OR Tambo, welcoming the boys with that trophy, the Champions League trophy. You know, anything that has, whether it's we, even if we don't win the league, but as long as there's the Champions League and and anything on top, that's a great season for me. You know, but yeah, your season predictions. Uh, how do you think we'll do in the MTN8? I think we'll win the. MTN8 this season. I just uh, that thing, y'all. MTN8 take y'all home. MTN8 take y'all home. I think we will win it. And I think the league, like we have strengthened the team, and also like league. Correct. Some teams are just honoring fixtures. Like <laughs> imagine just honoring. 30 games, 15 home, 15 away. So I think the league will be uh, uh, in Pretoria come May. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Champions League? I think we'll reach the semi finals or the finals. Yeah. Okay. Here are my predictions. I think we'll definitely win the league. We'll win it for uh, the fifth time uh, uh, in a row. I mean, it's a farmer's league, man. Uh, so we'll win it. I think. In the we'll beat these ones in the the the, the, the semis the, the, the MTN eight and get knocked out in the semis. I think we'll get knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Netbank Cup, and I think we will win uh, 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 the 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 the, the, Kef the Champions League. The Kef Champions League. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll okay. hope and pray that we win the Kef Champions League. Uh, let's get into. Let's wrap it up with uh, the, the, the 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 starting lineup. We playing. This is the most important game of the season. Mm -hmm. Which eleven do you feel? Goalkeeper, I'll have Denis Onyango. Okay. Right back, I'll have uh, Tabelo Morena. Center backs, I'll have Roshin De Rook and Mosali Busa. Uh, uh, then left back, I'll have uh, Lila K. Then. Our six, I will have Rivaldo Cotia. Two number eight, I will have Spilalem Kulisi and Leba Mabuwe. Then up front, I will have Shaduli Lese, number nine. Then two tens, Zwane and Siri. Okay, okay. So basically, more or less going with uh, the tried and tested of the last season, you know. Funny enough, I also have the same, that would be my go to starting lineup, you know. I think, I think uh, Gaston. Uh, I'm, I'm the only one who's going to have a prediction here, play football of the season. You're not going to have one. I think Gaston is going to win the football of the season. I think now that he knows or this thing, I won't even mention it, is not going to happen. It's not happening. He, he has his head in the right frame of mind, you know, in the right space, you know. So uh, I think he, he'll, have, he'll have a very good season. And yeah, that's the same lineup uh, for me but i think another player that will give a uh, that will have a great season is tapelo you know why i think 
uh, uh, signing Grant of Grant push, push, him. push him to yeah. work his socks off. So I'm really looking forward to that uh, 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 in, in, in the new season. And yeah, and just like that, Masandawana, that's the end of the 2021 season preview. Thank you for watching. Ho really hope that you will enjoy this. And please don't forget to continue su subscribing and telling everyone that you know about Masanda Wana Fan Vlog. We'll be bringing you guys more content from uh, pre-match spaces. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of different uh, faces on Masanda Wana Fan Vlog. And yeah, uh, once again, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to mention uh, your uh, predictions for the new season. And yeah, that's it. See you guys.